Hi there. Counter increment CSS property increases or decreases the value of a CSS counter by a given value. So if you are familiar with order list, you might be aware that it is used to give numbers automatically. So in CSS order list aren't the only elements that can be automatically numbered using counter related properties like counter increment can be used to add numbering automatically to any element. Okay, so let's see how actually this works. Okay, so in HTML, uh, let me add one view with some class, uh, some container, for example, okay, and, or we can give list container. Okay, in this class list container, we have multiple sections. So uh, let's add one section class uh, my list, for example. And in this section, we have uh, one order list. Okay. And let's say we have some elements like uh, list item. Um, let me add list item one. Okay list item 1, list item 2 and list item 3. So we have deal with section and order list. So how this is looks on HTML here. Okay. So let me add some CSS here. Let's add some padding, padding left for example 60 pixel. Okay. In list container we have my list. So uh, we will add some CSS in this my list section. Let's add some width, for example, uh, twenty percent. Okay. Uh, let me see how it looks. So, yeah, this is looking good. So my list has now width twenty percent. Let's add a float left. So before doing that, uh, let me add multiple sections. So we can add CSS accordingly. So now we have three sections, okay, with 20% float left, okay, so it will be in line, float left, let's add margin, for example, 20 pixel, okay, let's keep background uh, white, so you can uh, see the actual content, okay, and add padding 10 pixel. So let me add this CSS into my list class. So now this is a simple list. Okay. Now let me add one pseudo class called before. Okay. And in this before CSS pseudo selector, let's add display block. First of all, on let's see how it is adding. So here li. It should be my list, my list, and yeah. Before uh, you can see, you need to give some block display block padding. Let's give 10 pixel. Okay, with padding, uh, you have to give background color orange, for example, orange red. So let's see how it looks. So now my list before is not added yet let's see why we need to add some width 10 percent or uh, 20 percent for example let's add 20 percent okay still there is nothing okay text align you can give center so now why this before element is not there because we haven't added anything in content okay so now let's add something in content so now if you see we should have before element okay so let me change the width let's keep it uh, 40% for example okay. and let's give color white So now this is before element 
with some content okay so now we don't have um, let's say this uh, list is coming from database or third party api and we don't know how many list or how many sections will be there so i want to give the number to each section like uh, this section should have number one number two number three and so and so to do so what we can do we can use content property this content property with uh, let me show you before content property what we can give we can use counter it should be counter increment and my step so my step is our custom text that you can define custom name to be precise here in content you can use this counter property the name of the counter should be my step okay so in this sudo before selector we are adding content with some counter property and counter will be step my step okay it can be anything so let's see so now you can see uh, let me select the before so before counter is my step so let me remove this counter increment and see now we have zero because in content my step is nothing right so when you use counter increment and with counter content you can use my step for example and counter increment will counter each value with one it will increase one okay so there is one other option like with counter you can pass another value like upper roman and it will be in roman value okay so this is very useful when you are not uh, aware that how many sections or how many list items you will have and you want to apply uh, dynamic numbers okay so this counter increment css property is very useful when you are dealing with such scenarios okay about browser support it supports uh, chrome safari firefox opera and i i is not in the picture yet but yeah still it is supporting and uh, for android and ios mobile it is still uh, not fully supported but yeah we need to test all right so this was uh, a brief or you can say a very simple example of how counter increment css property works if you are new to my channel please go to my channel uh, there are more than 234 videos uploaded and uh, you can go to playlist there are so many videos uploaded on css3 properties let's open that css properties playlist you can see there are almost 50 videos and i'm trying to cover all the css properties available okay you can also have a look there is another playlist called css selectors in this playlist I have tried to um, cover all the CSS selectors available till the date and uh, there are a few simple examples also available in each and every selector. So if you are just starting your web career or if you are new to CSS, HTML and JavaScript, this is very useful playlist. Apart from those videos, uh, I have created a playlist for uh, JavaScript tutorials for beginners. So if you are a beginner with your JavaScript knowledge or you are just uh, learning JavaScript, then I hope this is a really useful playlist for you. Uh, there are very simple examples uh, and uh, I have tried to cover as many basic concepts of JavaScript as I could. Okay. So I hope you will check, check out my channel and if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and keep supporting. That's all for this video guys and see you next time around. Bye.